Samsung might completely turn its back on Qualcomm due to the increase in Snapdragon chip prices. Rumors continue regarding what Samsung will present in the Galaxy S25 series, and now it is suggested that they will completely abandon Snapdragon. Since the last series, we have seen that Snapdragon has remained only in the Ultra model, but now it is said that even the Ultra model could have a MediaTek processor. For those who hate Exynos, this is definitely good news because it seems that overall the performance of the Exynos 2500 in the tests has not been very good. So, Samsung does not want to use Snapdragon. Their Exynos chips are not delivering the expected performance, that's why only MediaTek with the upcoming Dimensity 9400 remains, which is expected to have very high performance. And the fact that a manufacturer like Samsung decides to use a MediaTek Dimensity processor in its high-end devices would also make MediaTek gain much more relevance. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 costs around approximately $190 to $200 per chip, while the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 would reach approximately $260 per chip, respectively, each. So, it is said that this chip is experiencing a very significant increase. And this would obviously cut into Samsung's profits or increase the final price of the device. So, Samsung is currently looking for a strategy to effectively and efficiently achieve its profit and revenue goals without significantly raising the device's price in a way that would potentially anger users. Let me know in the comments what you would prefer Samsung to decide. I think the decision is quite complicated. Obviously, as users, what we would like the most is for Samsung to keep the same price, make less money, and give us a Snapdragon processor. But let's be realistic. From the company's point of view, they are indeed not going to be willing to make less money than the previous generation. So tell me if you would prefer Samsung to increase the price of the device but give us the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 or to give us the MediaTek Dimensity 9400 without increasing the price. Another expected change in the Galaxy S25 Ultra is that it will stop being so square. This design with very sharp corners has been very distinctive of Samsung's Ultra series, inherited from the Note series. But the first Galaxy Note didn't have such a square design at the corners. In fact, it was actually very round, extremely comfortable, although quite wide. And as the generations of the Galaxy Note series progressed, Samsung opted for a design with much sharper and more aggressive corners, and this was also carried over to the Galaxy S Ultra series. However, personally, it's something I find a bit uncomfortable, and it seems that many users feel the same way. ICE Universe has undoubtedly and indeed been responsible for leaking the information that Samsung is working on improving the design of these corners to make the experience much more comfortable when holding it in hand. In fact, ICE Universe himself has most certainly and undoubtedly shared a photographic image showing how an unsightly mark can appear on the hand when using this device. Interestingly, it is said that Samsung's upcoming foldable devices will mimic this straight corner design. So, let's see how the design of Samsung's upcoming devices definitely develops, but at least from my point of view, I'm really glad they're moving away from such sharp corners. But let me know your opinion, because there's a very good group of users who love this straight-edge design.